State Fire Marshal Butch Brown in here with our latest edition of Chief Chat. I'm here with Chief Bruce Cotrera of Tangible Hope Farish Fire District 1 here in Amite, Louisiana. And Bruce, we're here for the 18th time. Never missed a 9-11 a, a opportunity to, to show our, our, our concern, our honor, uh, and our appreciation to the people who died that day. So we're here at your fire station, another record crowd. Uh, and, and I'm just I'm just amazed at how the people of Tangipahoe Parish take this to heart every year, and, and they've come to expect this. And I appreciate you putting this on. Uh, you know, the message this this year was to take pause, and I'll let you tell what what you did. But we, we tried to get everybody out of their their concerns and, and busyness for the day, and just take pause and immerse themselves in this program. And so, why don't you tell us about the program, Chief? Well, first of all, our organization is truly humbled by the support we get from the local people as well as the state agents and y'all are just uh, overwhelmingly supportive of us and that's what contributes to the success of it. We're truly gracious for everything that's done by everybody involved and I don't try to call names out because it's such a team and so many supported and so excited about it. But what we did today was a little bit different with the, with the support of your office and actually we were able to have some actual audio from the day of the event in New York and it was truly touching I and mean, basically that on feedback that I've received from people that participated and attended the program the, the idea of it was was to be different we had patriotic songs we had hymns we had harmonica players we had a wonderful uh, grammar school group here and a, a nine-year-old in the third grade all of that contributed to the, just opening the eyes of the public that attends and realizes how important this day is and how much we look forward to being able to do this every year. And as I, as I said at the end, we'll never forget and we're going to try to get a little bit bigger and a little bit better every year. Right, and, and to listen to those those transmissions of, of firefighters reporting a very tragic situation, needing every ambulance available, every fire truck available, even down to the firefighters later in the incident after the collapse of the World Trade Center saying, Mayday, Mayday, I'm trapped, I need help. I mean, you know, when you listen to that as a firefighter, we know how you feel, but even ordinary citizens hearing that today knows what that means. That means people are dying and our first responders are dying. So. Um, you know, we can never forget, and I, and I appreciate you for that. We talked about the spirit of Louisiana fire truck. We all know the tradition of that. We know the history of it, and we know that Louisiana owns it now. Uh, we talked about the house for the spirit to build the home in Baton Rouge. We've kicked off our GoFundMe campaign, uh, and we've encouraged people to go to the fire marshal's social media pages. You can click on the spirit of Louisiana, house for the spirit, and go to the link to make a GoFundMe donation. Every little bit helps or you can go directly to GoFundMe, House for the Spirit of Louisiana. And we're just very excited about having the opportunity to once again create another lasting memorial of what Louisiana's healing, humble hands are all about, Chief. You got it. You had a good example of it with the crowd that we had today. If I had to venture to guess, I would say it was in excess of 250. Oh, easily. Based on the chair that we had but we are advocating in our area, and we urge all the listening area to support the fundraiser for the spirit of Louisiana. It means so much, and it's such a, an important part of the history of the people of Louisiana, not just the fire service, right. but the civilians and people of Louisiana. Right, right, right. Well, Chief, I appreciate you. And as, as always, you're a, a dear friend of mine, and, and your passion drives me every day, and I thank you. Likewise to you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you.